It's not often that I fall in love with a video game character right from the very first word, but that's exactly what happened when I met Nellie Kudalot. From the moment she popped up with her strawberry hair and happy-go-lucky attitude, I knew there was something special about this wannabe pirate. She was funny without being sarcastic, endlessly eager instead of being cynical. It almost didn't matter if her adventure was any good, because all I wanted to do was spend time listening to Nelly talk about pirating. Thankfully, the adventure is nearly as strong as the unlikely hero. Nelly Kudalot, The Foul Fleet is a hilarious new point-and-click adventure game from comedian Alice Dare Beckett King. It stars a young woman pining to become a fearsome pirate captain, but instead of getting into battles on the high sea, she's stuck working in the mailroom of the MS Undeliverable. But when the ghost of William Bloodbeard shows up and talks about birds perishing, the red-headed sailor leaps into action and gets herself mixed up in a life-and-death struggle of comedic proportions. As it turns out, Baron Widebeard has used the Treasure of the Seventh Sea to cast a spell and turn the world's bird population into an unstoppable fighting force. This sends Nelly on an adventure that involves talking to a lot of random strangers, picking up weird items, solving puzzles, and maybe, if you're lucky, some swashbuckling pirate action. For better or worse, this is a traditional point-and-click adventure game. This isn't cinematic like Telltale's The Walking Dead, but rather plays out like the hits of the 1980s and 90s. It's a game built around having lengthy conversations and using questionable puzzle logic to get past many silly challenges. If you're not into games like The Secret of Monkey Island or Full Throttle, then you probably won't get much out of the foul fleet, no matter how lovable Nelly Kudalot is. Although she starts in the mailroom, the spunky hero quickly finds a way off the boat and onto dry land. She'll spend most of the time poking around the Guttering Howls, a seaside community with a thriving commercial district, a racetrack for gambling, a local folk singer, and plenty of lazy puns in the Chinatown district. Each of these areas is populated with colorful characters and lots of funny dialogue options. It won't take long for Nelly to get caught up in the city's inner politics. It seems like everybody is at each other's throats, and people are on edge after a spate of burglaries. If Nelly is going to track down and stop Baron Widebeard, then she's going to need to run a bunch of errands and solve the local problems. Nelly Kudalot, the foul fleet, suffers from a lot of the same problems that have long plagued the point-and-click adventure game genre. For starters, the game tends to get bogged down in one large location instead of shuffling off from one area to the next. And while the pirating stuff eventually happens, it comes after a lengthy detour in the guttering howls. More than anything else, this brought the snappy pace to a grinding halt. The game also suffers from some bafflingly nonsensical puzzle logic. Even as a seasoned pro of this style of graphic adventure, I found myself stuck in too many trial and error scenarios. Often, the problem will come down to not talking to the people in the right order, something that stalled my progress for longer than I'd care to admit. Of course, this is no different from any point-and-click adventure game, but it still left me walking around in circles looking for the right answers. The good news is that even when you're stuck, you'll still run into plenty of funny conversations and pirate jokes. I couldn't wait to talk to every person in town, and I was rarely let down by the interaction. Everybody has a funny story to tell, or something that makes them truly unique. There's the sailor who is self-conscious about the lack of chest hair, a curmudgeonly harbor master who cheats at board games, a very angry chef who makes junk food in Chinatown, and a hipster teen who's ready to find the next hot musician. And best of all, Sebastian, Nelly's talking bird friend, is able to weigh in on each and every one of these oddballs. Nelly Kudalot, the foul fleet, is the very definition of charming. From the beautiful hand-drawn graphics to the hilarious voice acting, every inch of this game is brimming with style. Unfortunately, that may not be enough if you're not already into the style of point-and-click adventure game. But fans of the genre are in for a real treat. I can only hope that there are many more high sea adventures in Nelly's future.
Hey, thanks for watching our video. This is a review I intended to have up a few weeks ago, but I kept running into a visual bug when playing the pre-release build. Thankfully, that got ironed out, and Nelly Kudalot is as good as ever. Anyway, we still have a bunch of reviews coming up, including the Sun and Moon on PlayStation platforms, and everybody's gone to the Rapture on Steam. We're also gearing up for an incredible interview with the makers of a very cool upcoming shooter. I guarantee you won't want to miss that. So, do me a favor and click the subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.